What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to a new setup. I uh, did some rearranging in the office and uh, I think we're starting to find a good spot for everything. So the Maker Studio is coming along. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor Make M5C. Thank you Anchor Make for uh, sending this over for me to check out. I really appreciate that. They didn't ask for any reviews or anything or honestly any content. They just wanted me to check it out and they're the first company that's done that. And I really appreciate that. You're not asking for anything in return. You just genuinely want my feedback, but I'm going to cover it anyways. So let's pop this bad boy open. Also, the knife that I'm using to cut this open is like a busted like steak knife. We call it the Amazon knife in this house. <laughs> All right. So we've got a nice little assembly guide here to take a look at. Uh, from what I've read online though, this is a, a pretty simple uh, installation. So we'll set this aside and take a look at it here in a second. Oh my God, this is solid, solid quality. This is the box the tools come in. Very, very nice metal casing. Well, maybe it's not metal, it feels metal. It's plastic though. Guys, I'm telling you, uh, Anchor Make is not skimping out on their presentation. This is solid, guys. So we've got a power cord here. We've got a spool holder. Also, I love that the spool holder has like a little uh, filament guide here. Thought that was kind of nice. We've got, what else we got in here? Some little giblets. So some screws, we'll probably need those here shortly. And I think that's it for the first part. So it looks like the Z-axis, the gantry is separate. Pull out some more foam. They did a very good job of putting this together. You can tell that it's not going to, to fall apart. Okay, we are in a better spot. So with that, set that there, set this here. So now let's see what we gotta do. We got to step one, take everything out of the box. Step two is flipping it to the correct voltage, which looks to be on the bottom here. So fun fact about switching voltages, if you don't do that and you live in the UK and it's on the wrong one, it could burn out your machine, ruin your machine, possibly cause a fire. In the US, uh, the chances of that are a lot slimmer. Uh, we've got it a little bit easier. Yeah, I just think it's crazy that uh, you go one way, it's not quite as bad. You go one uh, the other way, it's like a major fire hazard. <laughs> so this machine is supposed to be geared towards an entry level person, someone that's gonna have this is maybe like their first 3D printer. So we'll flip the switch. We'll flip the switch here. Cool, we're on 115. I'm in America, that's what you want it on. Next up, we want to set the gantry on. So let's see here. Okay, uh, so now we want to turn it over on its side, it looks like. And now we're going to take the M5 bolts, so these here, as well as the, oh man, they even mark, they even mark on here which exactly one of these you need to use, so you're not guessing. So we need to take the last one here. So this has a plastic cover that we gotta take off here. I do wish there was an easier way to prop this thing up. So I'm almost done, and I'm realizing you only put in like eight screws on the bottom part, which is just great. So next step is attaching the uh, stepper motors, the little plugs for those. I'll turn this around so you can see. So on the bottom here, like there's these little plugs. Basically we need to plug these in on both sides over here. So beautiful. Make sure that one side's in good and snug. Now we'll do the other one. Easy peasy. All right, next step, install the cover again. Okay, let's see here. Now we need to, so there's a belt on the back here. We want to attach it down at the bottom and attach it at the top. It looks like it's already attached over here. So we just need to attach it at the bottom. Man, this is a super easy install. I was hoping I'd get a satisfying click with that, but I didn't, so I don't know. Maybe it's good. So now we install this cool little uh, spool holder. So this goes on the back here like this, and this is what these other four uh, uh, M4 bolts are for. Cool. So it looks like I'm on the last step here, at least on this page. So, okay, we've got it ready. We can press the power on button. 
we want to download the Anchor Make app. So I'm going to go to the App Store here and do that. That scared me. <laughs> I'm sure it's normal though. So let's go ahead and Anchor Make. So this is the app that you want to download. I'm going to click Get. Since I think we're done with tools, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning up a little bit. So we come to a screen that looks something like this. As soon as you sign in, we want to add the printer and I'm guessing that's where the next step will be, which is leveling the printer. So we scan the QR code on the device. There's apparently a Q, oh, there it is. It's on the back. So press the button once on the printer you want to connect to. Easy. And now it's asking for my Wi-Fi, so we'll go ahead and get that set up. Cool, so what I like about this machine is it has just like this one button that you can configure to do a ton of different things. So literally the next step after typing in the Wi-Fi, it gives me the option to start configuring those buttons on what I want them to do. Um, so you can see right now it's got the print the latest file on in USB, need it with a single tap, double tap gives you a last file and hold for three seconds to auto level the bed. Um, while it's printing, you can press it once and it will pause it and continue it. If you double tap right now, nothing. And if you hold for three seconds, it'll stop printing. And we're already set up. We're good to go. So I know for a fact I need to level this thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's an adjustment section at the bottom that I can use to auto level. I'm sure I could press the button too, but I'm going to do it through here. So it says leveling has 49 points and takes approximately 10 minutes. So we'll go ahead and start that process. The app is super clean looking too. Like you can see here, it has uh, like the time left to, con to finish as well as the temperatures. I love it, it's just super clean. So we'll let it continue through here and we'll get to printing. So I am leveled now, uh, but we need to do some firmware updates. So looks like it's pretty simple to do though. On the app, it literally just prompts me to do that. So we're just gonna press the update button and let it run through its thing. I've got some filament. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna load this in the meantime. And yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so the firmware is now up to date. So now that we're home, I'm bringing this up just a little bit here, one more. And we're gonna just take this little bed off here. Oh, I love that. It says, make it real. That's funny. And then this is, this is the uh, bed sheet that they send with it. This is, this is of course a 220 by 220 build volume. Looks like it's double sided. That's nice. We're gonna give this a nice little wipe down with some IPA, pour some IPA on here and just make sure this is good and clean for our first print. It's got some alignment knobs here in the back, which I really like too. That's, that's a good little touch. I'm gonna go ahead and extrude just to make sure that my uh, PLA is properly loaded. I love the fact that you can kind of control this whole thing from your phone. Like as much as I love a good screen, I don't think you need a screen whenever you have an app that functions as well as this one does. Um, very cool. Very, very good. They didn't skimp out. I love this. I'm thinking the one thing that would be nice is if there was like a camera that I could put on it. Maybe they have that or they're going to offer it here in the future. That'd be kind of nice. But for an entry level printer so far, this is great, but it's not gonna matter if it doesn't print well. So uh, I've got high hopes for this machine. So we're gonna run some tests here and see what it looks like. So I've been printing a few things, as you could tell. Uh, things have been going well. I like the anchor make. 
I will say there's a lot of tuning that I need to do for this filament. Uh, the frog turned out great. The um, the Benchy, not so much. I think the Benchy probably could, uh, it's got a little bit of streamy, stringing issues going on. Uh, so I need to tune the filament, essentially. Uh, right now I'm running Overture PLA with the same settings that I did on the last Benchy, and this one's printing just fine. Maybe some slide over extrusion there we need to work through, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. That being said, I'm going to be doing some more content over the Anchor Make M5C, so if you're interested in that, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching my channel, everyone. I'll see you next time.